I'm uh, Eugene Fitzgerald. I'm a professor in the Material Science and Engineering Department at MIT. Um, I've uh, been a research scientist and an innovator and entrepreneur. And uh, recently, I've been appointed the CEO and director of SMART, which is MIT's research enterprise in Singapore. Well, we've uh, formed seven enterprises based on different technologies and interests that we've had. So all of them require uh, iteration between the market and technology uh, and other factors. So uh, maybe I'll just pick out a, a few. Uh, probably the one I'm going through right now is the largest experiment we've done over time with innovation process where we started a whole research program and we uh, set up kind of a range of applications we wanted to target for a particular new uh, chip technology, although of course we didn't know exactly what materials would be in that chip technology, but we had a range, and so we started off with that uncertainty. And even the way that we would work with the outside industry wasn't clear, but we had some initial ideas. And of course, all those things changed over time. The interesting thing is we, we knew we couldn't pick the market or the specific technology up front that they would have to be arrived at through an iterative process. So um, over, over the first uh, couple years of that research program, we started realizing that there's probably three market areas that we could get into. It looked like um, you know, the, the kinds of technologies that could come together and make chips that could be advantageous in new markets would probably be in the areas of communications, power electronics, and in um, uh, LED uh, photonics, light emitting diode photonics. And so um, again though, we didn't know which market would go first, but um, as that congealed, of course, it made us focus on the material science side, on particular um, materials and devices. And so as we progress there, the research itself says, well, this one's not going to really work out. This one's not going to work out. So that forces you to iterate because you say, okay, I'm not going to be able to um, probably do these technology, these applications over here, right? So at the end, we started, um, well, uh, what, what happened up front, about middle of the process, we started realizing that, okay, maybe power electronics would go first because everybody was excited about those applications in the marketplace. And then we said communications would likely come next. And then the most white space market that we had was the LED photonic um, circuits. And as we proceeded uh, with, again, advancing the technology, but at the same time, always still trying to talk to customers, see what they would be interested in, which ones would likely come first. Um, at the end now, it's, it's completely inverted itself. So by the end, we found out that now the LED array market integrated into the silicon is really taking off, and that's definitely going to be the first integrated circuits that we produce. And then it turns out the second one is still the communications one, but now it's much more refined because it's all convergent to 5G and, and 5G communications requiring very advanced um, electronics, which turns out we can do um, after all of our research, we figured out that we can do that. And then lastly, the power electronics, which up front the material science community and the EE community is most excited about. It turns out those markets are really um, not as large, they're not as dynamic, the companies behind them are not as innovative. And this is something that you know you can't see up front just from looking at technology. And so that's kind of you know kind of a modern story of what's going on right now and, and how we went through lots of iterations to arrive at that sequence and it wasn't the sequence that we thought uh, when we started.